Hi everyone, welcome to The Shack. I wanted to share something with my subs, i.e. that's all of you. Um, <clears throat> some of you will know that um, I've spent the last few weeks um, building antennas to receive NOAA um, weather satellite telemetry for decoding into um, images, uh, weather uh, images. And it's been pretty successful, except not at my home QTH. And the reason for that is the noise that you can see here. Um, I'm using my uh, RSP uh, DX uh, and my RSP Duo actually at home on two separate computers. Um, here I'm on 137.9125 megahertz. And all you can see are these noise modulations. If I zoom in, you can see them more clearly. So um, these are big modulations. They're spaced about 80 to 90 kilohertz apart. Um, now to receive uh, weather, NOAA weather satellites, the signal's quite, quite wide. Uh, it's got a bandwidth. I think the bandwidth is about 30 kilohertz, but you need to be using about 40 kilohertz so to um, uh, as an offset effectively for a Doppler shift. Obviously, the, the, sig the, the signal shifts in frequency as the satellite is approaching you and then, and then passing over and then um, moving away. So um, I find that having an audio bandwidth filter of about 42 kilohertz works very well, um, which it does, except when there's no noise. So here, this is the frequency for NOAA 18, 137.9125, and right now, the... Uh, audio bandwidth filter is clear but these modulations move in frequency and if I go down to NOAA 19 uh, frequency which is 137.1 there you go there's one smack bang in the middle of the audio bandwidth filter and you end up with uh, images that have got noise lines all over them basically um, the, the, the signal is uh, it's a, a right-hand circular polarization uh, uh, FM signal, frequency modulated. And if you have one of these in the middle of the audio bandwidth filter when you're trying to download the telemetry, all of the data will be corrupted, obviously. Um, if you have one that sort of moves across the audio bandwidth filter, then you just get bands of noise. Um, and I can't remember, actually, the last time I managed to um, download some telemetry without any of this uh, any of the data being corrupted because of these noise modulations. Now, I'm wondering whether anyone out there, any of my subs, know what this is. So here it is. This is 137 megahertz. If I go down to 127, it's still there. 117, it's gone. And so it starts really around about 120 megahertz. Um, and it's kind of omnipresent until you get above about 152 megahertz and then it's kind of gone so um it's very annoying um i've switched off just about everything i can in the house i don't believe it's being caused by something uh in my own house um whether the source is with a neighbor or not i don't know but um i can't be the only person that's got this type of noise around from a sort of 120 to 150 megahertz um and I've sort of looked online, not really come across anything sort of um, that's particularly um, conclusive in terms of what, what it might be. But uh, there might be someone out there um, who's seen this, uh, suffered from it, probably someone else who's uh, interested in downloading uh, telemetry from weather satellites because they all sort of tend to operate around about 136 to 138 megahertz. So, um, so there you go. If you've got any idea what this noise is, um, I would be forever grateful. Um, in the meantime, I'm kind of, I've got a temporary setup, um, a mag mount with my one of my V dipoles basically on the roof of my car. And I think that having sort of about two, well, a ton and a half of conducting material below it, i.e. the car, <laughs> helps the signal. But um, I have received very good images here, but not now for a week and a half. Um, um, and it's because of all this noise. So um, if you've got any idea what it could be, what the source is, I'd be very grateful. Thanks for watching.